Yes, uh, acting ESP Lal is here with me this morning, a media ambassador for the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. Let's welcome Officer Lal, always committed to this particular segment, to the show, and committed to giving us, uh, I would say, impactful and great information. Information we could all use, and it will give us at least the perspective, give us and equip us with that understanding and knowledge as to how we approach law enforcement and we approach uh, certain scenarios. Officer Lal, welcome. Good morning, Mr. Williams. Always a pleasure to be here on behalf of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. Always a pleasure. I want to touch on our carnival safety, but before we get there, I just want to show you a video, uh, something we would have, uh, well, we got this yesterday uh, during our Man on the Street uh, interviews we went to Curep and one of the taxi drivers uh, basically came to us and well now I know obviously you can't go into details about the situation and I'm seeing that via the Guardian this morning that uh, the officer the said officer there is on the probe uh, for said action but again it speaks really I would imagine to the customer service uh, or at least lack thereof in this particular case and that called for, I would imagine, improvement. But let me ask you, though, in terms of taking your phone out to, to tape officer while they execute their duty. Now, personally, and I was asking the man yesterday, is something I really, to be quite honest, I don't like. Because I don't think anybody would appreciate when they're doing the job, whether, no matter what your job is, somebody to take the phone out and, and to basically they're trying to catch you in a wrong stand-up, as we say. Um, what's the kind of, uh, what was the advice that, that officers are given in that regard when, when I mean, can someone do that? Can I literally take out my phone and tape officer while they're executing their the, the duty? Uh, nothing prevents an individual from doing that. However, you cannot do it while the officer is in the execution of their duty. And while put, pulling out your phone and recording, and the officer, you make their, the execution of their duty a little more, or it makes it more difficult. Mm. However, if you're not obstructing the officer in the execution of their duty, and the officers perform a public function, mm -hmm. then there's no r impediment from a person recording it. And I have been there where persons have recorded me, mm -hmm. and they pull out their phones and started to record. And I am glad uh, that you are seeing me. I hope you are recording. I hope you have enough data, because at that time, I, I would even expand my level of professionalism. Good day, sir. You know you have committed a traffic violation. I'm issuing you a fixed penalty. And have a wonderful day. Sometimes, actually, the video could even incriminate the person who's taping. I've seen that happen in the no, past. Well, definitely. We have used footage. And what we also expanding is the use of body cameras mm. so that police officers could safeguard themselves. Because sometimes, when individuals post videos to the media, you only get a one-sided view. And if we look at foreign media, when the police officers show their side of the story, they show the entire clip and would show a whole new different side of the story. So as it relates to these particular situations, the Commissioner of Police has already ordered probes and their investigations that could be done. And in that regard, I just want to ask you, again, uh, barring this particular incident and the incident, funny enough, ironically, from the same St. Joseph police station with the female officer a couple of weeks ago. If officer, regardless of where they're from and where they operate, whether it's Tobago, Trinidad, if there is a particular dropping of the ball, as we say, um, the service was less than complimentary, and this investigation is on the way or, or it goes before the commission, as you mentioned, does that put a spoke in the wheel in terms of promotion? Does that go on their record? Uh, what's, the, what's the outcome of said investigations? And first of all, before even answering that question, we must understand, and police officers in general, we must understand is that, uh, that it is a service that we are providing mm -hmm. to protect and serve with pride. Yes. Pride, those are the words that are used. Those are our core values. Professionalism, respect, integrity, dignity, and excellence. Mm -hmm. And the commissioner of police and the executive of the TTPS have always tried and continue to ensure that police officers operate with these core values. And anyone who falls below those standards 
their actions now could be brought to an investigating officer. Mm -hmm. An investigating officer can investigate, record statements, collect video footage, and any evidence as it relates to the conduct of the officer. And this investigating officer is a member of the TTPS? Is a member not of the a TTPS, civilian. not a civilian. Mm. And that officer could be from the, the division or a specially appointed officer, okay. probably even from the Professional Standards Bureau, who would do the investigation and submit the file to the Commissioner of Police. And even if a criminal offense is detected, that file could also be submitted to the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution. So there's not only the issue of discipline that could happen, but whether or not that officer could face a criminal charge depending on the circumstances. So there's a wide net in place. It's quite a wide net. Okay. And that is why the investigations are done impartially without any issue as it relates to bias. The file, the file is submitted. And as you say, in relation to prospects of the officer and their future in the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, depending on the breach or even criminal activity, breach of discipline or criminal actions, and that person is sent before a tribunal or even before a court of law to be dealt with. Because as we know, everyone is considered innocent Descent. unless they prove it otherwise. Understood. And from there, the other step could be probably a dismissal from the TTPS or that person is disciplined. They may lose the SP. They may, and the, the, there are so many powers that the officer could also be removed from the rank that they are at and sent down at a lower rank. They may not even be permish, permitted to go at the higher rank because they do not, or they may not have the ability to go further. Really quick before we move into our carnival safety uh, information, is it time sensitive? Uh, from your experience, what's the duration, short term and long term, you have seen over the years with an investigation? It takes time. It takes time and it depends on the factors. Months, and years, we feel? It varies. I, 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 I cannot give you a date or a period itself because it yeah. depends. It depends, I guess, based on uh, case sensitive. B case sensitive. Understood. Well, keep us posted and thanks at, at least for, for, for giving some clarity uh, to that particular. Uh, overarching uh, situation, not per se to the, what we would have seen with the development out there in St. Joseph. We're just talking across the board. This is a standard applied to all officers, all of, the officers of the TTPS. What's going on here? Because I'm seeing big level meetings going on, Officer Lala. I thought you would have been in the mix here, man. I'm seeing here the mayor, I'm seeing the national security minister, the minister of tourism and culture. It seems like um, some serious work and high level meetings are happening to, to get all in place for Carnival. Yes, the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service continues this collaboration with all our stakeholders to ensure safe tr Carnival throughout Trinidad and Tobago, not just in Port of Spain, but all other sections throughout Trinidad and Tobago. And we, what we want to do is we want to have, again, that high level of police presence and members of our stakeholders. Mm -hmm. In terms of the safety uh, measures, just give us some more tips as we uh, look to, to wrap things up. And again, we just listen in real time to your advice because again, you're out there, you're in the field, you understand what we need to be looking out for. And as you always say, make yourself a hard target. And that is such a good topic, Mr. Williams, because as it relates to you're going in a FET, we are asking members of the public if you're going to a FET, do not wear excessive large jewelry. And these individuals will still not heed common sense and go to these fets with large gold chains. And in some instances, we have a lot of snatch and run. And the way the snatch and run of, um, offenders work is that they work in team. So the one will grab, one will throw, and one, the grabber will run. Mm. You stop holding him, there's no items found on him, mm -hmm. because they work as a team. Like a relay? As a relay. So try to make yourself a hard target. There's no need to work with large amount of jewelry, large amount of cash, and we are even asking people to 
try to get a, a, a fat phone. You know, that fat phone. Well, I'm not going to tell you because people naturally, because of social media, they have the phone out and they're performing to the phone. They capture themselves selfie. Um, well, this is an iPhone, expensive phone. You're suggesting to get a fat phone. A What's fat a fat phone? phone? Get a cheap phone, if it have camera, it have a camera, <laughs> Mr. Williams. Yeah, but the because, pictures will come out nice, Officer yeah. Lal, the pictures will be pic pic pixelated. Well, it's, what do you prefer, that you have a phone? I prefer, yes, that I have a phone. You have a phone that you call your loved ones, hey, pick me up, driver, yeah, yeah. ready, and fat done. Fat phone. Fat phone, yeah, have your fat phone. Okay. You can have your other phone if you want, but that phone has to be secured. Yes, true. But you don't want to be have, having that phone out all over, recording. And we have seen in individuals that sometimes on the phone and then they do not or they lack situational awareness. And we're asking people to be aware of your situation and your location because someone would be talking on the phone and without considering the environment, someone could just come around, grab phone, run off. Officers, you, uh, are your, your colleagues going to be at, at these events and, and more so, can, and again, we'll, when we have more time, probably next week or week after, we could talk about the strength, you know, we call it strength, the, the, the strength allocated to these events. Um, are you all planning to be every, any, any and everywhere for the carnival? Because, you know, there are some fets that, that might fly under the radar, it might not be the big established uh, event. Um, how you all go about ensuring that there is indeed that presence uh, at these events? Once there's a FET and you're applying for license, or what we call a special events license, you must get the permission of the court. And when you get the permission of the court, one of the persons or the main stakeholders that the court will reach out to are the police officers. And the police officers would send out an investigator who would determine whether or not the court should grant the license having regard to all the factors and how much officers would be needed having regard to the location, the crowd expected, and other factors. So the police determine the strength, not so much the court? Not so much the court. The, the, police. Court, the court will just approve the, right, the recommendation of yes. the TTPS for the strength? Yes. Okay, we'll stick it there for now. And I want us, if we could probably continue with that strength uh, discussion. You know, it's one I always, I always enjoy having with you because, um, you know, I talk to lots of promoters. I've, I, I host so many events. And I always enjoy seeing, um, you know, your fellow colleagues there. I have a good rapport and a, a great respect for the officers at the events. And I sh I'm quite sure I feel safe. I do, but it's just sometimes uh, the paraphernalia and the, 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 the riot wear gets me a little bit wary, but, but we'll stick up in there for now. Um, We'll explain, I guess you'll explain to me why it's, that's the scenario in some events next week. Officer Lal, you be safe. Thanks for the great information, and God spare, we'll touch base again next week. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Make sure and get your fed phone. Yeah, well, listen, I, I will. I'll, I'll take your recommendation. I, I always listen to you, and um, yeah, fed phone it is. Fed phone it is. Hope you do the same. Let's take a pause and come back with more.